Kiara here with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. I've been wanting to do a green grape version of my wine soap for a while now. I've made two versions, um, one Game of Thrones and one was a collaboration, and they were purple. But for the white wine drinkers, the people who like to drink Rieslings or Chardonnays or Sauvignons, I wanted to change it up and do a green version of this. You could add real wine to the soap. I decided I don't want to go through that process. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> but being the practical person that I am, it had to have some sort of wine in it. So I have just a little teeny tiny bit of the champagne extract left over from Brambleberry that I thought I would add into there because you know me, it's wine, it's gotta have wine in it. So I'm gonna give this a little mix. I've just added my lye solution in there, distilled waters, of silk, sodium hydroxide lye, sodium lactate, uh, coconut milk powder in my oils, and kaolin clay and get this to a light trace. So the color is the base of the soap, into here I have some copper penny that is by Nurture Soap, and into the big bucket I am going to add some Golden Buddha, and that is from Mad Mica. So let's pour off some of this. I was going for like a oak cast with a bunch of grapes in it. So you'll see I also have some little soap dough balls that I'm going to put on the inside of this. But let's get these colors mixed in and the fragrance and I'll tell you about that. Golden Buddha. This is so pretty. So the fragrance is a custom blend that I made of white grapes, berries, rich oak, and vanilla bean, and it smells just like a bottle of like Chardonnay, like a fruity white wine that you would open up and you would just get those notes of grape and oak in there and a little bit of sweetness. And it smells really good. Of course it does, why wouldn't it? Why would I put it in here if it didn't smell really good? <laughs> and then I have over here, this is green balls of soap. I've rolled them all up. There's like two different shades of green in there. And then I've rolled them in some green mica. And those are going to go inside of this batter here. I am going to mix this fragrance in by hand. I'm going to do a little bit of in the pot swirl. I'll get the molds over here. Start pouring in the batter and then individually put in those green grape balls inside. For on top of the soap, I'm going to do a high top with the soapy frosting. I want to get some grape clusters going on here, so I'm going to add some Adam and Olive by Nurture and some New Leaf Green by Nurture, hoping to get that white grape or green grape look on top. So I know this green doesn't look anything like a grape and it's looking more like, I don't know, poop. But I assure you, once it is sat for 24 hours, it will look the way it's supposed to. Greens tend to morph in the cold process soap method and so it looks a little funky right now. But I'm hoping it turns back. Typically it does. So I have a Wilton 1A here and I am just putting on dollops to look like grapes, obviously. 
that's what I want. So I'm trying to kill any any like points that this might create because we don't want pointed grapes. So this will take me a while. And then I'll get some more soap frosting over here in a different color green to add some vines and some leaves to it. Got our pile of grapes going. I have some more funky looking green in an icing bag with a Wilton 3 tip, and I'm going to be making some vines with this, and then I have a coupler on there so that I can change it out and put a leaf tip on there and kind of cover up some of those peaks on any of these or cover up any spots that I don't like that don't come off too much like grapes <laughs> and that is all that is going on the soap I'll probably add some glitter and that'll be it so I can't wait to see what the soap looks like tomorrow when things aren't as funky looking as they are now and yeah that'll complete any type of wine soap that I probably will ever do in the future. My hand hurts after all of that. Really have to pay attention to like where I place things because it's it's strategic. <laughs> it's not just like three, two, one. It's a lot of placing them so that they look like a pile of grapes. Pretty much what I'm getting at. So you guys probably know that I'm a very crafty person. I'm very into trying to make anything that I like, like soap or I sew, and I just got a pottery wheel, so I like making things. But one of the things that I'm not too keen about trying to make is wine. Let me know if you've ever made wine or grown your own grapes, because Bradley a few times has got, he's gotten into like making things like kombucha, and I'm just gonna go crazy for a second here and just put a little more vines all over this and then I'm going to switch out the tip. Um, he's made kombucha, he's made wine, he's made, he's played around with all kinds of things and I just get really really weird about trying them because I don't trust them and it's not necessarily him but it's like I'd rather leave it to somebody who really knows what they're doing and you know it isn't going to make me sick or taste really bad or I don't know. <laughs> Sorry Bradley. <laughs> But recently I've started thinking about my friend Erica's yard and she is growing grapes in the back. She bought this house that came with, we call it a wine tree, but it came with a grape bush. And of course we call it a wine tree as if we've ever made wine with it, but we know that grapes make wine. So we've always thought like maybe one day we'll attempt to make wine with grapes that she's grown. The only problem is it's never actually grown any full-grown good-looking grapes. They've always stayed really small or shriveled up or not really ripened and we've never really decided to do anything with them or look into it as to why this isn't working. So if you have any tips, you know, how to grow your own grapes, what we need to do to it to make it work, <laughs> leave them in the comments section or if you've ever made your own wine, is it as scary as I think it is? Because Again, I don't know if I would trust something that I'd make. I'd rather leave it to the professionals. I'd rather go to the vineyards. It's always an experience. Um, we visit lots of vineyards around in Maryland and Pennsylvania. And I've gotten a little worried lately. There is a infestation of an insect called a lantern fly going on right now. Lot, um, lots, a lot of parts of PA have been quarantined to keep this bug at bay because it eats a lot of grapes, it ruins a lot of crops of stone fruit, so like cherries and peaches and nectarines and stuff like that. And so that is a very big worry and they've just recently made their way into uh, Maryland, which, you know, it's right next to PA, so it was bound to happen, but 
I'm kind of worried for all the vineyards out there who would have to deal with this. It is a very pretty looking bug. I've only ever seen pictures of it online and I thought it was pretty because you guys know I like insects on framed insects. I collect them. And so I always thought like, you know, one of those might look pretty in a frame. <laughs> I'm morbid. What can I say? Um, and then we went to PA one day and we, I kept seeing signs for them all over the place. And I told Bradley, I was like, if you ever see one of these, you have to smash it. It's a really horrible thing. I don't think I could ever do it, but they're really bad. They came from China, they don't belong here, and they kill our crops. And he was kind of like, mm, I'm not going to kill that bug. Bug deserves to live. And I'm like, yeah, it does, but it's something you're supposed to do. And when we were leaving, we had one land on the car windshield. And I was like, you have to roll it on your window. You have to smash it. And he refused to. And just from the inside, um, of the car looking through the window at the uh, underside of the bug. It was actually really ugly. It has a really big abdomen, like a big beetle with pretty wings. That's the only thing that got me are the pretty wings, but he refused to smash it. And I'm like, well now it's on its car. It's on our car and we're going to drive home and we're going to be the one that's going to bring it back to Maryland. And yeah, I don't know if that's what we did. <laughs> I'm not trying to put the blame on us, but he wouldn't smash it. I don't blame him. I don't think I could have. That You ever smashed a really big bug before? I can't imagine that is pleasant for anyone. Alright, glitter. I have woo, lots of gold sparkle going on top of this. This is called Nancy Sinatra's Gold Boots. It's in a fairy duster from Mad Micah's. Just do a little sprinkling of glitter on there. We'll give this a spray with a rubbing alcohol. And we'll come back and cut it in 24 hours. Alright, hopefully the camera doesn't shut off on me, but I wanted to cut into this and show you guys what the inside looks like. Loving the grapes on top. I was a little worried about that green, but it turned out perfectly. I think they look just like little green grapes. I love those colors. When I was pulling this out of the mold, the base reminded me of another soap that I had done, and I think the colors are very similar to the apple pie soap I did. So maybe that's what I'm thinking of. It's supposed to represent like an oak cask. That's what I was going for, but super in love with the little, I love it. I love the little green grape balls on the inside and on top. It smells delicious. I think it's my favorite out of all of the wine soaps that I've done. And I hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to buy it, it will be available on March 27th. That will be the next shop update. So mark your calendars from March 27th the first of many soaps to come out in March. So I love it. Looking forward to stamping this and cleaning it up and just really making it look perfect. It's one of those soaps I think that I keep picking it up and admiring it and smelling it. It's like my precious. I love it so much. Can you be in love with a soap? Because I am. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up if you're new to the channel and enjoyed watching me make the soap. Don't forget to subscribe. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. I will smell you later.